Happy Friday. I'm Cody Adams with your Contra Valley This Morning update. Longtime Laura W. Bush Institute Regional Director Linda Ross is retiring this month. Yesterday at the San Angelo Country Club, friends and colleagues gathered at a retirement reception for Ross, who's also an assistant clinical professor at Angelo State University. San Angelo's Laura W. Bush Institute for Women's Health is located in the new nursing building at ASU. A new harness system designed to keep patients safe is now being used at San Angelo's West Texas Rehab Center. It's called a zero gravity gait and balance system. At the rehab center in the adult gym area, therapy workers demonstrated how the system is used. The system is designed to protect patients from falls and provide body weight support at the same time. It's for use when a patient is practicing walking, balance, and stair maneuvers. So people are up, they're walking, they're walking earlier, they're progressing in their therapy faster. Um, a lot of things that we used to sometimes have to try to do in the swimming pool to eliminate their weight, well now we can very precisely eliminate an exact amount of weight and get people up earlier, moving faster and through the therapy process um, faster and, and, and more safely. West Texas Rehab is one of only nine facilities in Texas using the new system. Everybody at the San Angelo State Park is excited about the new bison calf. The young bison is just about a week old. They're still not sure whether it's a male or female and is the first baby bison born so far this year. Both mom and dad live at the San Angelo State Park. Visitors can see the new bison calf on one of the bison tours at the state park. And now let's see what's happening in weather with Tabon Sharifi. Tabon, what are we looking at heading into today and, of course, the weekend? Well, we're watching storm chances as we head really throughout the weekend. As for today, looking at 86 degrees for your high temperature, mostly cloudy for the day, but we could see those storm chances rolling through as we head overnight and into the late afternoon as well. Winds out to the south, 15 to 20 miles per hour. But overnight tonight is where we're really seeing the bulk of that activity. Strong to severe storms, so we're watching large hail, damaging winds, even an isolated tornado being possible. And with the already saturated soil, we've seen at least three inches of rain so far this month. So we are looking at heavy rain and flooding potential. Tomorrow, 87 degrees, those storms carrying on throughout the morning hours, but diminishing later in the afternoon.